Hey, this is Joe Maurer of the Minnesota Twins, and you're listening to my player's playlist on Go 96.3. Hey, this is Dustin Morse on the player's playlist here on Go 96.3. I'm excited to sit next to Joe Maurer here in the studio. <laughs> We're playing some music, man. We've been waiting a while to do this, but we've already heard your first song, Chicken Fried. Pretty chill song, puts you in a chill spot, I guess. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, you know, that's that's what it's on there for, you know. Um, I like uh, a lot of variety in my uh, music, and uh, whenever I listen to the Zach Brown band, it kind of mellows me out a little bit. You know, it's a good uh, day off song. I want to continue on talking music and talking rock stars and, and just talk to you about some of the concerts you've been to and maybe some of the, uh, the talented musicians out there that you've met. Anything come to mind? My very first concert I went to was actually Justin Timberlake and uh, <laughs> Pink JT. Uh, there at uh, the XL Center. You know, you kind of think of boy band and uh, pop star and stuff like that. But uh, he really impressed me with all the different things that he did that night. So I uh, became a little bigger fan uh, after well, he, that. He's like the one guy that you talk about. If you could hang out with for a day or two, he seems to be about the coolest guy on the planet right now and very talented next to dustin Morris. yeah of course next so, to dustin Morris. Well, what about some of those all-star games you've been to there's always musical acts that come through those those events did you meet anybody through through those uh those those games one of the most memorable ones is the person i met was cheryl pro uh she oh, sang yeah. uh, the national anthem in uh yankee stadium 2008 and uh like i said she was very nice and you know when you get to meet these people and and realize that you know how nice they are and how down to earth they are that you know you become even a bigger fan of them so a big Cheryl Crow fan as well uh, this next artist on your playlist <laughs> uh, Pearl Jam mm -hmm. and I know you have a special connection to, to Eddie Vedder can you explain yeah actually, actually Eddie Vedder was in our clubhouse uh, thanks to Ron Coomer uh, yeah you know who was good buddies with him and got to meet him and uh, you know I'll be honest with you I've, I know a lot of Pearl Jam songs I wasn't that big of a fan uh, growing up and when I told this to my wife, she was like, what are you thinking? You know, <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. Um, obviously, after meeting him and then, you know, going back and like, wow, I really know a lot of Pearl Jam songs that I didn't yeah. even know about. And, you know, it's funny. I, I met him just, you know, briefly that one day in the clubhouse. And, you know, we were expecting our girls. And, you know, a couple months had passed. And all of a sudden, I get this box uh, to the field and uh, open it up and it was from eddie and he sent me a bunch of pearl jam onesies <laughs> I remember um that. you know from yeah. zero to three all the way up to like 24 months and you know it's uh, little things like that that uh, like i said make me even a bigger pearl jam fan well baseball and 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 hitters specifically they there's some superstitions behind uh, uh what they do and walk-up music is a big part of uh, at least this show and, and baseball in general and uh, around town, your walk-up music is probably the, the most talked about, and uh, the reason being is you've had the same song since 2006. Yeah. I think it's, you know, probably talked about, like you said, a lot of people don't realize that I like that type of yeah. uh, music. And um, But, you know, it, it just happened 2006. You know, that's what I went with. Had a pretty good year, and, um, you know, just said, uh, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Well, I, I just want you to know, I was, I was doing a little research on this song, and you'd be proud to know that on the actual Wikipedia page of what you know, it says there on the bottom, uh, Joe Maurer uses as his walk-up song at Target Field. I like that, too, and I've had a lot of fans come up to me and say, hey, once I hear that song come on the speakers, I know that it's your time to bat. So I kind of like that, uh, having a player or a song you know, kind of recognized with, uh, with a certain player. You yeah. Know? Kind of like when you hear uh, Enter Sandman, you uh, you know, Rivera's come out of the bullpen. So I think that's pretty cool and unique. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll change the I. 